This is a free website tutorial and I'm going to show to you three ways you can build a free website online and landing pages. But then my priority is to use Google Sites which is some that could rank easily and that's why I'm picking these. Let's go straight into it. You go over to Google and type Google Sites. And you get to Google Sites, you would see it's going to be the first prompt that comes out of your search on Google. Click on that first link and it will pop you up to either sign in via your Gmail if you don't. I already have my Gmail account and that's why I'm just popping into Google site directly. But if you don't have your account, it will tell you to put your account. You put your password and Gmail account. If you don't have a Gmail account, open one is free. Okay. Then from there, you can see all sorts of very beautiful and lovely sites you can start. Blank, Salon, all of these. Let me show it to you how this looks like. Now, I once had a tutorial and I made these for people. I was trying to promote the reconditioning of dead batteries at home. And by the way, you can use this for numerous purposes. If you're a freelancer, you can use this particular Google site as your portfolio. I'll teach you how you do that. If you're an affiliate marketer, which is something I'm concentrating on today, you can use this to promote your products and you can sell on this platform. Also, if you're a blogger, you can use this to blog for free without necessarily buying anything. You don't need to buy anything. You can see. So this is how and what we're going to make. You can add videos, you can add links, you can add pictures and images. So if you click on templates categories and it opens up, this is why the beauty comes in. You can see personal. If you scroll down, you see events, app center, project. All of these are different. They are going to come to you with different vibes depending on what you want. But for the purpose of today, I'm going to be working with salon. Fair enough. What am I promoting here? I want to promote a product as an affiliate and it's share sale. Let me show you. Now, now signing into my share sale account here, all I want to do is just go here and pick up a link which I'm going to promote. Now, from here, I will now write an article about it, meaning I'm going to write a blog. So, before we go into the nitty gritty of making money from this platform, how you design that website for free and it's going to look like original. And when I mean original, what I'm pointing to was is something like 247cashdollars.com. On 247cashdollars.com, this is a professional looking website that I bought. You have to buy the domain name, you have to buy the hosting, and then you have to host it. And that's why it's like this. You are going to build something like this for free without anything. And that will help you a lot, especially if you're a beginner with no money. The very first thing I want you to do is choose. I'm choosing these. Then we now have to edit everything. For example, if I am an affiliate, then I can name my target. This is my home page, by the way. The first page you see is your home page. Then let's start from here. Add a logo here. I click on add a logo and I go to upload logo and I choose this logo. Just simple like that. The logo is done. And you can see now from here, it says add halt text. Now what halt text means is what will let Google and the search engine the crawler to understand what you're trying to do here. By the way, this is crawlable. Google site ranks on Google. I hope you understand that. So all test is simply, if you don't know how to do all test, let me just give you the short code. If I'm saying I'm African giant, so here I just put African giant logo. So if your company has a different name, you just put it as logo and then that should do it. Now on favicon, what favicon means is, let me show you this. If you look at this, you can see this logo here. When I've not clicked on this tab, see Google favicon here. This is the favicon for African Giant 247 cash dollar. This is for Giants Classroom. You can see it here. This is for Gmail. This is for Bitly. This is for Facebook. So that is what favicon means. So now to upload favicon, I just click on it again and upload just a part of your logo for it. And by the way, you can also use your logo as your favicon. Okay. So I put that up here and that's done. And that is brand images. You can see in the settings here, you can actually change any of these things and customize. By the way, you can use custom domain here as well. But then we'll get into all of these later. So I close that up and that's my logo done. So what is my site name? Software. You can do your own about pets. If your own is about water, whatever industry you're trying to promote with these. If you're a freelancer, you can put your name as the title of the page. Okay. So from here, I just click away from that. But software looks ordinarily blind. So, so I just want to put maybe online software or software house. Okay. Just to make it look a bit uh, tush. Nice. And now from here, just like I said, software house, I can just uh, click on this as well and edit everything in here and call it software house, just like that. Okay. Then I go over to the best services and best styles. I can just go ahead with best softwares, cheapest prices. I just put something like that and that's it. That's my own tag. And then I can as well change the image behind. You can see the image at the background is that of a saloon. 
So I want to change the image. You can see it's just easily customizable. I click on change image and then I upload my own image to deal with these and then I get an image. You see that? Very smooth. Now from here, I can move down and, you know, set things. Now, if you are a freelancer, you might use this to for people to schedule a call. But for me, I don't need schedule a call. All I need to do is I click on it and then you can see the delete button here. That's practically what you're going to do. So I click on delete and boom, that's out. Very well. And now, if I'm a software house and I want to really do this, then maybe I can put a title here. So what's my title as a software house? For online business. That's it. And then if you look here, you can see align. This align shows if you are on the extreme end, that's align left. Align to the center, that's what you want to do. And you can also align it to the uh, right if you want that. Okay, fair enough. So we've done that. And I move further a bit and say best softwares. What are these softwares? So maybe I have to sell just like I do on the shop on 247cashdollars.com. And by the way, let me give you this important announcement. The giant affiliate is coming up. You can use this as an affiliate to sell all the softwares in our own shop. Let me show you how many softwares we have in the shop and many more to come. You have Grammarly, Canva, articles writing for people who need articles. We have Qboot. We have keyword research for Kindle books. We have editing. A lot of products here that you can sell and make a whooping 30% profit on each of them, including our classroom. And talking about the classroom, these are services you can sell as well and make huge money from. Freelancing my Fiverr class, blogging masterclass, affiliate marketing masterclass, YouTube, Kindle, all of these you can actually sell using these same Google sites. And then let me do how you edit that. If I click on it and then second click on it again, you can see here how to edit. Now to edit further, you click on the three dots and then you can see you can replace image and then add the alt text, which let Google knows what's going on there. So to replace this image, I can just click on upload. And from here, I upload any of the images that I want. For example, maybe I'm promoting Grammarly. I just upload the Grammarly logo here. And that's it. Just like that. And then I can change these to Grammarly Pro Login. And that's it as well. So that's how I edit all of these and I have my pages. You see, it's coming up together. Beautiful. And then here, you can now write something about the whole process that happens in that shop. And to write here, very simply, just click on it. You can control A to highlight everything and then type. This is the best place to get your softwares for cheap. And then you can continue and then you type every other thing you want to type and then you fill it up there. Now, if you look at this footer, it says call or email or book an appointment. You can edit this to carry your email just like that. For my sake, I can just put admin at 247cashdollars.com like that and that's it pretty much it now you can see we are almost done with this front page to check out what you are doing you can hit on publish and for example i hit on publish now it's going to publish this it's saying what is the website i want to publish to here you have to choose a name so here i can just say something like software house just like that and then that's what i want to use it says that's great but it's already taken i can add something like giant at the back of it giant software house that's available so then i publish if you have a custom domain maybe you have a domain name already you can just make it easier for it and then you manage it here but then i'm just showing you how to do this for free so i hit on publish so this is going to publish me on giant software house not.com as if you bought the domain but it is going to slash it to google sites and all the rest how do we visit it? If you see this arrow by the side of publish now, then you can view your published site. Okay, so from there we go back to what we are customizing. And you can see here we have these home services, about us and testimonials, all of this we're going to change. How do we change this before we now go into creating a blog post for this particular Google site website? Incredible. Now look at this right hand side. You can see insert. That's if you want to insert things on here. You can see pages. If you want to insert more pages, themes. You can actually even choose the theme you have. But I'm not choosing that. You can check it out as well. Let me click on themes. And then you can see here, you can create another for Google. Then you have a simple theme, which is probably what we're using. You have Aristotle, Diplomat, Vision. You can try out any of these uh, if you have interest in. And then the insert bar shows you what you can insert. So now you can see whatever you want to do here. If it's a text, you can just click on that. And it will create the text icon, just like you can see. And then I can start... Uh, you know, texting and doing whatever I want to do. You see that? 
But then if you don't need it as well, this is the icon here, the delete icon, the duplication icon, and then you have the selection of colors, whatever you have to do on this text, I just click on delete and it deletes. If I want to duplicate this one where I have my logins and this is the plus place, all I need to do is here, you can see the duplication. If I click on that, it will duplicate. You see that, very easy. And if I want to delete, I just delete again. But then if I want to add images, I click on wherever I want to add images, just like on the uh, plain place. And then when I click, you can see around this uh, round box, you have embedded, you have images, you have uploads, you have from Google Drive. So if I need images, I click on images, it will prompt me to now pick from either Google Drive or by URL or by images. You may not have anything in your Google Drive, just close it. This is how you upload from your computer. Just click once on that Canva, you want this image to appear. Click on this box image, you see upload and select. If you click on upload, it will prompt you to now upload something in that place which is your image. So I just click on that and then it appears just like that. So from here, you see it's just on one side. For you to drag, you can just drag this and it becomes bigger. Okay, so I just leave it at that, just not to make it extremely big. And then that's not still good enough. As you can see, the lower part is not uh, coming up. So I can drag this down as well, just to expose what's down. And boom, that's it. I have an image. And every time you can hit on publish, it will show to you what you had published before, what you're about to publish. Just as you can see, you can see my draft, which is the one that has the new pictures. And then you can see the uh, currently published, which didn't have the new picture. So it's practically telling you, this is where you're coming from. This is where you're going to. Very beautiful. And then I can still continue and hit on publish. This is sweet, I must tell you. But then you now want to create more pages. For example, the home service about us page might not be something you want to use. Then go to pages. If I click on pages, look at them here. Home, services, about us, testimonials, and then contact. For you now, you might want to delete any of these if you don't want to delete them. You see this three dot icon by their side. This three dot, it can make you make any of them the home page or duplicate any page you want or check out the properties or add sub page add sub pages we're going to use that in a minute you can hide from navigation and you can delete so let me just hide from navigation it's no longer navigation it still exists right but then if you want to add a new page for example if you want to create a blog that you're going to be writing articles on i just click on new page now you can see as i hover around this plus it's telling me new menu section like you can create a whole new menu section if you want to create a new link just to link it out or you want to create a new page which is what i want to do i create a new page and i name this blog very simply then i click on done and when i do that boom you see blog appear in my menu now from here i have a blog page that is new now on this blog page i ain't going to do anything on it i want to create sub pages which i'm now going to use as my blog articles maybe i just want to create five articles by the way i always recommend you use this for a particular product don't put a lot of products on it because you can create as many as possible so it's not a problem so here i just create on this this three dots and then you have add sub page if i click add sub page i can now add my sub page for example i want to treat this particular topic and put it on it just for this tutorial how can i get share a merchant approval so i copy that and just like you can say look at the icon for flat flavicon is already showing that i have changed it Okay, so here I name it my title. Okay, and then I hit on done. Boom, I have a new page for this. But look at what just happened. If I go over to my blog, look at it. It's now showing me part of the blog. So if I need five, it's just going to arrange the five in that order. This is how I create mine. And then from there, I can now add everything that is in my blog. Now, how do I add this? Go back to insert. Remember that. And then I pick on text, which is what I want to add. And then I assume if you have written everything you want, you can just go, I'm not writing now. I just want to go here and copy and show you how to add table of content and everything. So I copy this and then go back to it, assuming I am the one that wrote this anyway. And then I put it here just like that. And boom, I have my page coming up. How can I get to share and sell for free? And then logically, you should have your table of content before you continue writing. To include your table of content, if I scroll down from the theme on the right side, you can see table of content here. So if I click away from here, and then I can click on table of content, and it will now show. It says add headings, and they will appear in your table of content. And all I have to do is paste this. Boom. 
now if you paste let's go back to my table of content as you can see there is now a table of content here based on the fact that i have this already and now that's not all you can still add videos and all and also add your affiliate links which is something i know you want if you want to have your link here maybe for example i want to link out to and commission or i want to link back to another website for example when i highlight that you can see the trail here insert link if i click on insert link it's going to open up the link i want to insert so here i can just link back to www.247cashdollars.com or you can add your own affiliate links here and then i click on apply as soon as that comes up you see the color change it has changed the color because it has now linked back to this particular website but then that's not all let me show you how to add videos if you want to add videos as well at any point let's say maybe i need to add videos here i just come back here click on youtube that's where i want to add and then it's going to tell you to search for the youtube url you don't need to be the one to make this youtube video you can actually just copy it online but i have a video that i want to use which treated this and as you can see i put the url here so i just click on these and then i click on select and it's going to now put the video here very smooth but then it's small just like in images we now have to drag this out and just by dragging it out everything is settled and then you have it you do it back on publish then you know after you hit publish there's one thing most people are going to struggle with because at the end of the day you just don't want to write articles that will not rank how do you write optimized articles that can rank look at it here i've treated that do this now so that you can rank quickly and make your money online let's go let's go let's go